Good morning guys and welcome to the show. Today is a tool time review. We have a brand new tool in from Mobile Solutions, the PT9A Plus, and we're gonna show you how it can make your life a heck of a lot easier in the install bay. So stay tuned. This carbon fiber looking pouch holds the PT9A Plus. This guy right here. Ah. In order for this to work, you do need a nine volt battery and that is not included. But what is included, a set of test leads. It uses a standard style connector. You can use ones that you already have if you don't want to do clipping or anything like that. It's an easy enough tool to modify so you can use any type of test leads you want. However, it does come with a pretty nice set. You get a thumb drive that has all your test tracks on them. Test track three is the polarity pulse test, but this also has pink noise and a couple other useful tracks on it as well. The polarity tester instruction manual, which we know you're not going to read. Keep watching the video and we'll show you how to use it. Let's take a look at the new unit compared to the older PT9A and that'll help us understand what makes this one better than the old one and also what it does. Now first and foremost you have these two lights here. These are going to indicate what it is receiving. Positive polarity is green, negative polarity is red. On the newer unit the hole is a tad bit bigger and the LED is brighter. Moving down you have a line out. This is to go from let's say an RCA to an aux jack or an RCA into an amplifier whatever you decide to use it for. On the top of the unit, they have a switch that says CD or line. This came with a test CD. This one comes with that thumb drive. If you're going to be using this in conjunction with this, you would select CD. Power on and off switch. Even though you're not using it, make sure it's in the off position because it will eat the battery up dead if you leave it in the on position. And then this is done. This is all you get. This is, this is, this is it. What this could be used for is a wired out Output to test what a speaker is doing. It was very helpful. However, this third switch here is what separates this and makes this the ultimate polarity test tool. It has an input and an output. Output is the same as this tool here, meaning I can connect test leads to it and it'll make a popping sound from the speaker that I can then use the microphone and the tip of either one of these to read and know if I've grabbed the right positive and negative, which we'll show you how to set it up and test all that as we go through the video. But on input, this brings us into a whole nother category. I can now, if I don't have a speaker, test the output of my signal source, radio, amplifier, anything like that. That is ridiculous how awesome this is gonna be. Let's hop into the car, we'll do some testing, show you how to connect this up so you can do just that. First scenario we wanna look at is we have a car, we have a radio, be it factory or aftermarket, it doesn't matter. We have some factory wiring over here. However, there's either A, a blown speaker or no speaker. And we need to know what those colors are so that we can hook up our new speaker. We just have a red wire and a green wire. Who knows what they do? To test the output of the radio, select the CD, turn the unit on, and select input. Make sure the test probes are plugged in. Put our thumb drive in, advance to the polarity pulse track, take the test leads, guess what you think is positive and negative, you'll get a three one. So you'll get either green, green, red, or red, red, green. In this case, we're getting a red, red, green, which means we have it backwards. If we don't want it that way, switch the test around. As we can see, we have a green, green, red looking back at our wires, that means that the green lead coming off of there is positive and the red lead is negative. Now that we know what the positive and negative wires are, we can connect our aftermarket speaker with confidence and know that it is going to move the right direction. One of the most common applications for this is when you just have to replace a set of speakers. In this case, we have a set of factory six by nines. We need to know what is positive and negative coming off the plug. This here, is this positive or is this negative? I don't know, it doesn't have it marked in Anywhere, we need to find out. To do this test, set it up, select line, turn the unit on, and select out. Take your test leads, go to the speaker, you'll hear it popping. If you're measuring it from the back side of the speaker, you wanna see it red. If you're measuring it from the front side of the speaker, you wanna see green. We're getting a red. That means that this side here on the right is our positive. It doesn't matter if we go to the left or right here in the trunk because this speaker is universal. It can be used on the left or the right. And if we plug it in to our factory connector, we know on this side, light green is positive. 
And on this side, yellow is positive. One of the most helpful things this will help you test polarity on are these guys here, tweeters. Tweeters are tough. You don't want to take a battery and try to pop it or anything like that. This, it really shines on. With it set up the exact same way it was to test the previous speaker, switch it to line, turn it on, and select out. Take our test leads, connect it to the tweeter, and it's tapping red, flip them, now we have green. We know which side is positive, we know which side is negative. We can apply our pretty heat shrink to it. Now if you do a lot of 911 rescues or you do a lot of services or someone comes in and they think that, man, something just doesn't sound right. You can also use this just to plug in and test all the speakers very easily through Audible. Plug your thumb drive in, put it on track three. Remove the test probes, set it to CD, turn it on, and set it for output. Put the microphone on top of the speaker grill. You can either hold it by your hand or in this case, it rests flat and this is showing us that this one is green green red which means this one is positive come over and test this one and the rest of them in the car and as long as they're doing exactly what you want them to do then you know you have them all correct another test that we do frequently is if there's a factory amplifier in the trunk and we need to figure out what all the speakers in the car are doing using this allows us to skip a step instead of using a tone generator to figure out what speakers are what we can use the polarity pops to figure out what speakers what and also figure out what the colors in the trunk are for this we're gonna need two PT9A pluses one is gonna be wired up here in the trunk creating the signal and the second one we're gonna handheld and bring it over to the speaker itself select line select on and select out this car we're working on does not have a factory amplifier however it did have all the wires run to the trunk from their corresponding speakers so it's a similar idea we have the wires here connected let's go over to the door with the checker. We have a red. That means we have it wrong if we were trying to get green. Switch them around. This is telling us two things. One, we know which positive and negative, and also we know it's this driver's front door. And we have green. So whatever we have our test probes connected to, we know that that is green. Write it down on a piece of paper. These are some of the most popular applications for this tool. And as you can see, when doing installation, this tool is very helpful. One of the things we do before we do anything at the end of an install is we polarize test every single speaker. Just like when we were testing the speaker in the rear deck, that's our first step. We put the thumb drive back in or we play a test track from our phone. We like to use the Sheffield Labs My Disc polarity test track. It doesn't matter whether you have a, in this case, factory radio or if you have an aftermarket radio. Polarity is polarity. You just want to make sure that the speakers are all going in the direction you intended. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tool review. Head over to mobilesolutions-us.com right here in order to pick yourself up one of these, there's also going to be a link in the show notes if you want to just click on that. Fernando. On to the next one, guys. You guys have a great day as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.